guys, it's Issa and today I'm going to film a video on how to lose the freshman 15 slash prevent getting the freshman 15 for college. I'm not sure if the college you're going to is going to be online or on campus, but my school is gonna be on campus, so I'm really excited. I don't know how like the semester is gonna go at all just with like the pandemic. It's gonna be so weird. I thought I would just give you guys my tips because when I was going into my freshman year of college, I didn't like think the freshman 15 was a thing. My parents joked about it with me and I was like, no, like I'm good. Like, are you kidding me? Because I don't know, I was always super active and like thin just growing up. So I didn't think that like that would ever happen to me. Before I start, I just wanna say like all bodies are beautiful and like you should have no, like feel no pressure to like lose weight or anything like that. But in terms of like my freshman 15, like the weight gain was not like in a healthy way. It was, be, it was due to like a very unhealthy lifestyle. Since this video is like about college, I don't know if you guys watched my what's in my purse slash college bag video, but I mentioned that I'm using my Teddy Blake purse. I wanted to let you guys know um, like how it's been holding up and stuff because I've been using it a lot this summer and it is amazing. The quality is great. Literally have no complaints. I still love it so, so much. And I'm actually really, really excited to use this as a college bag. And they are also having a summer sale right now. So you guys should click the link in my description box because you can get up to 65% off of these purses. And you should get one like for college, you'll look super cool. Mine I'm using as like a backpack, but also like they have tiny purses that you can use for like going out and partying. Um, so yeah, check it out. Quality is amazing and the prices are so, so, so good for what you're getting. So yeah, check out the summer sale at Teddy Blake. The link is in my description box. Now I'm gonna talk about my experience with the freshman 15. The point in starting pictures, like yes, I gained 15 pounds. I don't know if it was like exactly 15 pounds, but like between then. And I would say it all was accumulated within my first semester of college. It's real. I mean, at least it was real for me. I really embraced the whole college experience. So I have like three main reasons for my freshman 15. This is so obvious. And I'm not gonna say like don't party because you know, have fun. Um, if you want to do that, then you should do that. When you are partying, you are going to consume more calories and you might get those late night munchies. And <laughs> that's just how it is. Like, you know, after you go to like a party or a club, you're gonna want to eat everything in your room. Also, and I'm assuming that you are like gonna be living in a dorm. As if you're a freshman and you're living in your own apartment, that's kind of a different situation. My tip for like partying is not to not party because that would just be a stupid tip. Um, it's to keep healthy snacks in your dorm. So like when you get back from a night out, like obviously nothing's gonna be open for you to eat. And so you're gonna eat anything that's in your room. If you have a bag of hot Cheetos and cheeses in your room, like you're going to eat it. So just think ahead and try to keep healthy snacks in your dorm. And also like not too many snacks because if you have like a lot of snacks, you're gonna eat all of them. So before you go out, you should have like a high protein meal because it'll make you feel more satiated. And also like it's really unhealthy to not eat before you're going to go out and like party. You're probably gonna throw up if you do that. The next day after you go out, if you can, um, work out, go to the gym, sweat it all out so you can like start fresh. So for me, when I went to college, what I ate changed completely from what I had ever eaten in my entire life. Like I grew up eating like my mom's home cooked food every single day. Like we never had like junk food. Like the only kind of junk food would be like maybe potato chips and ice cream. But like besides that, like we didn't have Oreos and Cheez-Its and Doritos in the house ever. And I get to college and I have the unlimited meal plan which let me tell you, do not get the unlimited meal plan that your school offers. Typically it is the most expensive and it's just unlimited for like the cafeteria. And you will get so sick of the cafeteria food, one. And two, it's so unhealthy, even if it's high quality, like Rollins has really yummy, like 
gourmet cafeteria food, but it's still food that's being cooked like in a mass and it has like way too much oil and sodium and it's unlimited, you're gonna eat everything. Like for example, if they have three different stations that have all food that you just are like, wow, I can't pick, you're just gonna eat all three. And it's feel like I personally have really bad self-control when it comes to food. And so like if it is an unlimited buffet, that is just like danger zone for me because I will go all out and eat everything. Try to not eat at the cafeteria as much. If I know like you don't always have other options, but if you try to grocery shop off campus as much as possible, one, it's gonna be way cheaper because they bump up the prices for like the on school, the on campus grocery store. And two, like you'll just be eating a lot healthier. So if you can try to get some basic foods that you can prepare in your dorm or in your dorm kitchen, it's called the C store um, at my school. And like, I never was the one to grocery shop in high school. My mom would do it. But as soon as I get to college and I can like essentially grocery shop on my own and I just see all of these foods, like American foods that I never was really allowed to have like in big quantities, like Cheez-Its and like Rice Krispie treats and like all these things. So I would buy it like every day because I was just like, you know, like it's so new to me, but don't do that. Just try to limit yourself. You know, I wish I could tell you, oh, you should cook yourself home cooked meals for every meal, like what I do now. But like, that's just not realistic if you're living in a dorm. My entire life, I always had soccer or riding horses or swimming. I always had sports and I was super duper active. And as soon as I got to college, I wasn't in any sports. Playing a sport is very different from just going to the gym. And I find it, it's like really fun. So once I lost that aspect, I was way less active and I never was a big runner. So I couldn't get into running initially. Now I love running, but freshman year, like I had never run on a treadmill, literally like ever in my life. And so doing that, like, I mean, still even now, like I hate running on the treadmill. I find it so boring. And so it was just hard for me to find ways for me to be active that were fun. So like my tip would be to join like a club sport or a gym. Um, like I joined a boxing gym that's near my college and that changed everything because that became my new sport. And I just love boxing so much. I think it's really, really fun and enjoyable, but obviously an amazing workout. And then my other thing is to get a gym buddy. So I still do go to the gym on my campus. Like I've gotten into that, but especially if you're a freshman, like just don't, if you go alone, like you're gonna feel, at least this is just me, like super self-conscious and uncomfortable. So like grab a friend that likes going to the gym too and you guys can push each other and also like you'll feel confident in the gym because if I go to a gym alone, like I'm just like, oh my God, like this is like so awkward. Like, and then also just try to walk places as much as possible instead of driving. And then this is like a small thing. I live on the second floor of my dorm and like I would never use the elevator, always use the stairs. And like when I moved into my apartment, I was on the fourth floor and I would also always take the stairs. So that's just like a really small thing, but just doing little things to try to be more active. I hope this was helpful. I feel like my tips were pretty realistic because I'm not just gonna tell you like, oh, like you need to eat salads every day and don't drink and don't do anything. Cause like, no, like you're going to college. If you're gonna do what you're gonna do. And don't forget to check out Teddy Blake's summer sale. It's amazing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.